All right. Welcome to Tier List Tuesday, where we today are going to make a tier list. And this tier list is ranked on the best auto attacks in Genshin Impact. We're going to go through all 41 characters in the game. And we're going to rank each and every one of them. And if you do enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and follow my Twitch as well, where every Tuesday, we're going to do a Tier List Tuesday. So let's get straight to it and ranking every auto attack in the game. Let's do it. First things first that we're gonna rank is Hu Tao because Hu Tao is already here. I mean, honestly, this might be very biased because Hu Tao is one of my favorite characters in the game. I do like every attack. I love the ender. We got the one, the two, the three, four, and five. Like everything is so smooth. I love it. It's very good. So this is definitely an easy S tier for me. Definitely a bit biased again, because she's my favorite character. S tier free. Kokomi also one of my favorite characters in the game. I mean, it's pretty all right. It looks pretty. I like the animations. I like the way it looks. I like the, the water particle effects around her, but I don't think it's anything insane. What is crazy though, is that she does flow, but I, I like it. I think for me personally, I want to put it in an A tier, an S tier, but I'll put it in easily putting it in an A tier for sure for me. Love it or hate it, that is my ranking. I'm giving it an A tier. Now Fish, one of the first characters in the game that's already Already been out i think they're pretty clean i think the auto attack is pretty clean i like the animations she has two special animations at the third one right here get the laugh right here on this one a different one on the fourth one right here as well right here got the flip of the hair i like it i think it's very smooth but again though i don't really know what constitutes an s tier to be honest other than i me liking it a lot so i do think an a tier and this will all be rearranged again in the future and then my final character is oh wait a minute i know what an s tier is ayaka is easily an s tier right here just look in my opinion it's an easy s tier this is what an s tier has Something super cool and super sick. I think everything about Ayaka, I've been looking forward to her ever since her initial release date. So I think easily Ayaka is an S tier. The sheet, you cannot say is not cool. There you are. Easy S tier, probably currently number one on the list. All right, let's see what you got. Albedo? Not bad. I like it. It's like a prince. He is the prince of chalk. That's what he is. Oh, wait a minute. He does this? What? That is so cool. It disappears and it just like comes back out of nowhere. So design attacks really sick like a prince he is. I think honestly easy A tier. I know we're going for a lot of A tiers here, but the attacks in this game are one of my favorite things that they've done. So it's kind of hard to mess up to be honest. All right, Aloy. I'll be honest. I feel like Aloy has been easily been forgotten for like the past few months now here she is um I, I think the role is the only cool part about it it's pretty fast it's pretty nice i think i just have a bias of just not being a fan of aloy at all so it's just like you know okay right, that was cool that role was cool actually wait, wait a minute that that role was cool okay that makes it really cool not a bad but not an a tier i think the role does carry if you did not have that role it'd be a c tier maybe a d tier but the role does carry so i think a, a b tier is fair it's fair to say amber i love amber but this though i mean nothing special nothing crazy she does wink on the first attack which is pretty cool i do like that she does wink but I do think, unfortunately, that this is pretty basic. I, I, I'm going to put it at a at a C tier for now because it's pretty average. Barbara. Barbara, the animations are clean. The stars, the bubbles, the, the spin as well. Man, did, wait, did, does this skin change things or no? It's the exact same. It is the exact same. I don't think S tier, but... We can't put Barbara in B tier. We can't do a B for Barbara. So, unfortunately, we got to move one down. Put that there if we want to do that. But yeah, I think it's a B tier for me, personally. Beto. All right, Beto is a hashtag girl boss. Let's see what she does. She kicks it. Wait, where did where, where she, she kick it at? 
There it is. There's the kick. It's very, very low. I like it a lot. It is very cool. I think, in my opinion, it is in A tier because I think it's cool. Bennett. Oh, man. Hold on one second. So the thing is, is that Bennett and Kaya, they have the exact same animation. That's that. And this is Kaya. It's the exact same thing. They just control C, control V, the animation. Wait, do Fish and Amber really have the same auto attack animation? But that's Cap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Tearless is trash. <laughs> the difference is though, the difference is, is that Fish has more animations on her third and fourth attack. That is the only difference and that's why Fish is higher. Bruh. Man, they really did this? They're literally the exact same. That is insane. They train together, that's like a head cannon. That's not real. The banana attacks are not crazy cool or crazy impressive, you know. For a sword user, yeah, it's cool, but in the game of Genshin Impact, there is a lot more you gotta like, you know, compete with. So, Benny, I'm gonna give an easy D tier. And with Kaya, I'm gonna give him a B tier. Why? Because Kaya is cool, and not only that, he has a teleport at the very end. Kong Yoon time, though, let's see what we got here. Hmm. So I think the only cool part about this is the very end where he slashes it down. Without C1, it would not be, you know, as cool, but I still do think the slam down is cool. It's hard to say. I don't want to put him in C tier, but I do want to put him in like a, a B tier as well. Chong Yu will, will be staying at B tier. We'll do that. Now the Luke. What's Luke got for me? I mean, Deluke is cool. And we can all agree that Deluke is definitely a cool character. Pretty nice slashes, one-handed at the very end. Do Deluke and Raider the same animations? Because they kind of do. They kind of do, but it's reversed. Yeah, man, this game really is just a bunch of reused assets, huh? I think I think the attacks are cool to me, and that's what matters. This is my tiers. I think the attacks are cool. I'm gonna put them in a solid B tier, next to his brother Kaya. All right, Diona. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bless her heart, but that's a C tier in my opinion. I mean, it's a cute attack, but it's not cool. It's not epic. And then the jumping part is cool. The jump part's cool. Ah, uh, I mean, again, my bias is showing because I'm not too big of a fan of Diona. And I'm pretty sure most people would agree that, you know, a tier is always biased. So with that being said, uh... I think her and Aloy definitely do fit together. They're both cryo, cryo. they're both archers. I, I think they definitely fit together, like uh, Ging and Yang, for sure. Gon Yu, I think Gon Yu is possibly one of the best auto attacks in the game, for sure. Her end pose is clean, that is actually very true. The thing is, though, is that who is going to use Ganyu's auto attack ever? The answer is no one ever uses this at all. I do like it, though. I like the animation, but my bias might be showing again that, you know, I do like Ganyu a lot. Uh, to all my gamers out there, I think she deserves an ace here just for the ending pose. They knew what they were doing. That's all I will say. Eula. Eula, I think, is in the same category as Ganyu, but at the same time as well, though, I think Gula's auto attacks are one of the best and well crafted in the game. Like, holy sh**. Like, her auto attacks are so cool. Like, actually. Like, they're, they're the most unique in the game. Nobody will have anything ever close to Gula's auto attacks in this game. Ever. Nothing will ever compare. This is an easy S tier. I love Ayaka, but she truly does have, like, one of the best auto attacks in the game. Jean. I mean, you know, Jean is, uh, Jean's cool. Man, every, every animation here just, like, feels stiff after, like, it's done. Except, except that one. 
Yeah, she was one of the first fighters in the game. I mean, I like it. I, I have a soft spot for Jean where I do like the attack. I like him, but I do think that this is really weird. This is very strange. We just dock some points all. But I do, I, I have a soft spot for these attacks right here. I like them. So you are saying, you know, low tier, but I'm honestly giving it, you know, like better than Barbara tier, to be honest. The only issue I have, though, is the fact that uh this, that's weird. But overall, though, it looks good to me. I like it. Kazuha. Ooh, the ending animation and the sheep. Oh, right. One, one, two, right there. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, the sheep. Ooh, God, it's so clean. It's so clean. Kazuha, easy, easy, easy. Easy S here, bro. This character is so cool. Especially this right here. Ooh, that is so sick. All right. That, that's done. GG. Uh, Kazuha S tier. For sure. Kaching! One of my first five stars in the game. I love Kaching auto attack. Kaching's auto attack still to this day is one of my favorite. I think it's really good. And that's why I wanted her. I wanted Kaching because her auto attack was godlike. And still to this day, one year later, she still is very godlike. Now, some people out in this world use her for, for bad things, which is not good either for this. And that is not wholesome 100. That is very unwholesome. But to me, I got her for this flip and that cool attack. But this is also pretty cool too. She is in S tier as well. No doubt about it. Klee! She throws bombs. She has a three auto attack. That's all she does. I think it's good. And animation is really cute. Spin into the one leg is good. It, it, it keeps it simple. And simple is good. So we keep it simple. A tier easily right there. A tier. Oh, and then we got Sa Sara Kujo. The character design is pretty fire, but... I mean... I understand why she's like this. I mean, if you literally look at her shoes, she's literally on like stilts, right? It makes sense. I think out of combat, out of combat, it looks good. If we were fighting someone right now, it would look terrible. But the back dash is super cool, though. Maybe my mind has changed. It is, it's not D tier. And every animation ends in a, a sheath right here. Look at her footwork. Look at, look, at, look at her footwork. It's actually insane. Look at her foot. Look at her feet. Okay, I, I, I slept on this for a bit. I was going to say D tier at first, but... But I think it's pretty cool. I think easy beats here above, you know, them. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. All right, Lisa. Eh, I'm not too big on Lisa. Never have been. I think if her fourth attack was also in the air, it'd be cool, but she's not. Teleport's pretty cool, though. I can't say I hate the animation. I like this part. I think not bad. I think not great. Not my favorite one. Bice showing, I think. C tier. We got Mona. Honestly, I love Mona's. I love Mona's auto attacks. It's so. It looks so good. I love like the 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 stars and like the galaxy type thing. It's very good. Like an, an, an easy S tier, in my opinion. One of the one that you see like man, nobody else will probably have that ever in the game. I think we can probably go down though. I'm putting Utah lower now. Ning Guang. Well, the animation itself and the attack itself is just, you know, nothing insane. So unfortunately, we got to put her next to my boy Bennett and keep it at that. Where's her book at? Wait a minute. That is so true. She has no book out. That's kind of cool, actually. She is the only character with no book out. She's just throwing rocks. True. That is very cool, though. But still, she is still kind of, you know, kind of down low. She's kind of all right. Not the greatest character in the world. So we're going to keep it a detail anyways for me. Noel. Now, wait a minute. This looks like somebody else's attack. Who's it look like? Okay, not exactly the same. It's, it's kind of hard to make new styles anyways. It, it's hard to make new styles for sort of characters anyways, so I don't blame them. It's very hard to do so. Anyways, though, I don't think she's crazy, you know, unique in her attack. I hate to do it, but it's nothing special. Inclusive bias that I put in C tier, I can't. I am a man who has no bias at all in any tier list, Kappa. 
All right, Chi Chi Gaming, let's see what we got. Bam. I mean, nothing crazy. It is cool. It is cool. You know, the more I look at it, the more I look at it, the cooler it does look. It's really fast and it just makes it look super cool. Who's <laughs> we're gonna start? I just wanna know. I think it was pretty basic. I'm gonna put her in, you know, a C tier. Now Raiden Shogun Ball. Ooh. That third attack is clean. Or fourth. Is it fourth one? One, two, three. Yeah, fourth one. That is very clean. Super clean. I enjoy it. I love it. I love seeing it. That is some good stuff right there. Bam. I do like it. But is she S tier though? Is she S tier? Yeah, I think S tier because the sheath is too sick to ignore. I'll, I'll, I'll go with chat bias. This chat bias, I will put her in S tier. I will put her there. Razor though. I mean, honestly, can we just skip and go? I'll put Razor in, in C tier. He's all right. I'm not a big fan of it. I think the ending part is cool. Rosaria. I like her attacks. Her attacks are nice. They're pretty fast. I like the uniqueness in them for everybody else. She's moving around a lot. Wow, she's moving around a shit ton. Really cool. I think most pole arm users are very cool in this game. Because if you notice, most of them are like above in this tier. So with that being said, Rosario does go into easy A tier. He's very nice. They're very cool. All right, Sayu. Only cool part, in my opinion, for Sayu is the fact that she just appears and comes back and then does, you know, ninja hand sign. That is the only thing I think of that's cool about the character. Kind of like Diona, where the only redeeming factor, in my opinion, is that the ending part. That's the only redeeming factor about this whole character, auto attack. Um, I'm going to put Sayu in seats here because she's like kind of like Diona, where only one cool thing. Sucrose. Kind of the same thing again, where the ending animation is the only cool thing, in my opinion, that I enjoy. I'm gonna write home about, really. Would not show my mom this, so I would put her there. Child, Ajax Tartaglia. Before, I already made a skill tier list, ranking the best skills in the game. So we're not gonna rank this. This is not included in there. Unfortunately, that is not a part of it. I mean... It's not bad. The reason why I like it personally is this ending part. The ending part's cool to me. I like it. I enjoy it. I like the last two attacks. It's cool. It does pay me to say, but I do think there are going to be better things out there. But I will put him in a high C tier for now. I'll put him in a high C tier. Chong, you get your ass to C tier, bro. Honestly, get, get back down there. You're not, you're not B tier. Get, 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 to, get to C tier, bro. You know what, Kaya? Get to C tier. Hey, you know what? Uh, Now now child is B tier. There we go. Perfect. Now we, we balance it all out. Nice. Chong, you stays B tier, actually. Or C tier, I mean. He stays C tier. And then Toma. Ooh, yo, he's so sick. That is so cool. All right, Toma. Honestly, the new characters are always the best animation, bro. They always get the cool animation. I think, in my opinion, it's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. He kicks a spear. The third attack is super cool. I like it. S tier for me. S tier for me. I like it. Traveler. What a cutie. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, pretty basic. Nothing insane. I don't think the D tier though. I do like the attacks actually. I like the way uh, she holds the sword like here, like right here. That's super cool. I like the way it's held. But if it was a male, I would probably say A tier as well. Actually, we'll put it in C tier. C tier. Putting your C tier because like, again, nothing crazy, but it's basic and it looks nice. Now Venti though, Venti. Venti's got hella drip, bro. Venti auto attacks are probably one of the best in the game. But the thing is, though, is that nobody is going to ever use, you know, the auto attacks ever. I'm a fan. Get dude. We'll, we'll put C tier. Or S tier. I mean, not C tier. Shang Ling. I like the jabs. But it is nothing crazy, though. But that's okay, though. I said before that basic equals, you know, not special. But sometimes being basic is not that bad, right? We got to flip the script a bit. I don't think A tier. But I think spear users never do anything wrong. So I think a B tier. I think A tier is a little bit too overhyped. I think you're all crazy for that one. But I think a B tier. Ciao. Hmm. 
This man do be shmoving. Yeah, polearm users always have the best auto attack. Shao, easy S tier. Put you nine order, nine order at all, by the way. Except Eula. She's number one. <laughs> Singcho, I mean... I like the attack, but it is nothing insane. I understand that seeing each other, you know, elegant, an elegant boy, but at the same time, though, it's like, I only like the ending part again. Like, it's not crazy, but ending part's pretty cool with the jump. Though, with that being said, usually how I rate, rate it is, if there's only one cool part in it that I like, then I put it in C tier. So, Sing show is in C tier next to his buddy Chong Yoon. Shin Yan. Someone said Shinyan was similar to Beto. Was similar. But that being said, the only thing is that there's no kick sound here. Yeah, so Beto and Shinyan are very similar. Very, very similar. Uh, Shinyan is missing the cool kick at the end, for sure. Because Shinyan is so similar to Beto, then we gotta put him down two tiers, which we have to see tier, and it's still like the attack. Yen Fei. I'm a fan of Yenfei. I like the volleyball, uh, the volleyball third hit. And the T-pose at the end, too. Man, what gamer does not love a good T-pose at the end of their, you know, attack? I think we're all gamers here. We love T-posing, right? So, I think easy, easy A tier. For sure, easy A tier. I love it. I like Yenfei. And then Yoi Mia. I think Goimiya uh, easily has the best auto attacks in the game. He has one of them for sure. That's the reason why I got Goimiya because I like her auto attacks and how they look. The flip, the spins. How can you not love that, bro? Goimiya is awesome. So that being said, easy, easy, easy S tier above Venti because Goimiya is way better. The final character that we got to rate. The man, the myth, the legend, Zhang Li. One of the first characters to ever come out in the game alongside with Child. And this character, one of the best characters in the game. And there's one reason why. And that's because this character has one of the best auto attacks in the game still by far compared to anybody in the game. Because he is so goddamn cool. With the kick, dude. The kick is still one of the best things in the game, bro. It's already done, bro. Like, easy SS tier. One of the best in the game. Right next to Eula one year later. Zhongli reigns supreme. If you don't think this is this is a correct tier list right here, with Zhongli and Eula at top, you are wrong. Very objectively correct that Zhongli and Eula are one of the best in the game auto attack. For sure. And this is my final tier list right here. There you go, everybody. Let me know if you agree or not. If you disagree, let me know where you would put higher or lower. And if you do... Enjoy the video. Make sure to sub, like, and comment, and check out my Twitch channel. Thank you for watching. Peace.